The following information is obtained to study the relation between the carpet area in a house and its monthly rent in a city. Here is the x and y and obtain regression line y on x. Estimate the monthly rent of a house having carpet area 110 square meter which is the square meter only given. So let's start with the calculation. First take the information in textbook in notebook and here we found the x bar is 90 and y bar is 26,000 so now here x minus assume mean here I'm going to assume 55 which is the minimum lowest value in the column so here I'm going to take 55 and check the number 505000 which is going in the table of 5 so here cx will be 5 for finding v the column of y will be used and the minimum number for finding b it is 18,000 so here b will be 18,000 and cy see all the numbers are having in thousands 18,000 19,000 20 20 25 30,000 50,000 so cy here I will take as a thousand now hold your calculator for the calculation here is the x that is 55 minus assumable mean that is 55 divide by cx that is 5 so 55 minus 55 divided by 5 it is 0 next 60 minus 55 divided by 5 you will get 1 75 minus 55 divided by 5 you will get 4 80 minus 55 divided by 5 you will get 5 the remaining continue with your calculation here I get the total of sigma u is 49 for v 18,000 minus 18,000 divide by 1,000, 0. 19,000 minus 18,000 divide by 1,000, 1. 20,000 minus 18,000 divide by 1,000, you will get 2, 2, 7, 12, 32. And the total of sigma v is 56. Now for u v, just get them multiply and for u square, the square of this column. Here I remove the calculation of uv and u square and the total is ready. Let's skip into the formula to find out b. Here after going with the calculation don't forget to put cy and cx which we have took in the to finding u and v. cy was 1000 and cx was 5. After keeping the calculation you will get the answer for b 327.73. The value which will be kept in a the answer we got in a is minus 34. 3495.7 and after finding regression line the answer will be 32554.6 moving to the next question the following sample data is obtained to study the relation between the number of customer visiting a mall per day and the sale per 10,000 here the number of customer and the sale is given and obtain regression line y on x estimate the sale of mall in 80 customer have visited the mall on a particular day so let's take the information here I found the X bar and the Y bar where I can see the value is quite more so here I'm using UV formula now in this UV X will be this column and here I am assuming a as a minimum number I found in this column is 50 that is this and as we can see all the numbers are multiplication of 10 so cx will be 10 for v y minus b here the minimum value of b is 2 that is 2.0 which is given in the question and cy the no number is going point numbers are not going with any one table see that it's 0 0.5 0 0.4 here again 0 0.0 or 0.5 so here we'll take cy as a 0 0.1 now to find out u, hold your calculator, 50 minus 50 divided by 10, that is 0, 70 minus 50 divided by 10, you will get 2, 100 minus 50 divided by 10, 5, and continue in such a way, you will get sigma u, 26, for v, here I took the minimum 1.4. So the calculation will be 2.0 minus 1.4 divided by 0.1 you will get the 6. Both are 2.0 so here I am again 
keeping 6 the next 2.5 minus 1.4 divide by 0 0.1 you will get 11 1.4 minus 1.4 0 no need to divide directly next continue with the remaining hope you now understood the whole step how it has to be go so here first I'll complete the calculation and show you the final result of this question here I keep all the value in the formula this is what the calculation will go and the answer for B is 0 0.02 then I find out A here I got 2.30 and for the regression line by keeping the X 80 which is given in the question and here the final answer next question number 6 question number 6 the following information is given for 10 firms running business of clothes in a city regarding their average annual profit is in lag and average annual administrative cost is in lag so here we can see the mean of x and mean of y is given standard deviation 6 and 3 and the covariance 10 sorry 10.4 and out of this, they ask to find out the regression line y on x. Now, for such kind of information, just check into the formula page. Here, our third and fourth step will be same. But to find out b, which was our second step, there I gave you some more formulas. Out of this formula, we'll find out the information. Now, as the information given in the question, this formula will go... For the solution as we have the x bar y bar sigma sx sy and covariance so first step is to find out the b here we have the ready x bar and y bar so second step was to find out b that is covariance x y upon s x square the covariance which is given in the question was 10.4 sx value is given 6 we'll take it as a square so 10.4 and the 6 6 are 36 just find out the calculation you will get 0 0.29 the next is to find out a formula is y bar minus b x bar x bar we have ready in the question that is 25 minus b is 0 0.29 and x bar that is 60 Take out the calculation, get them multiply, you will get 17.4 and get them subtract, that is 7.6. Next is to find out regression line, y on x, that is y cap is equal to a plus bx, a 7.6 plus b is 0 0.29 for x nothing is given in the question so we can move to the next the following information is obtained to study the relation between average rainfall in centimeter and yield of maize in quintal per hectare in different different talukas of gujarat here the rainfall that is noted as a mean of x is 82 and mean of y is 180 here they have given variance hope you remember that is the root of standard that is 64 and 225 and the information which is given is correlation coefficient that is r is given 0 0.82 so let's take into the book here i keep x bar y bar and the variance which is sx square and just remove the root of 64 you will get sx 8 and r is given 0 0.82 now check in the formula now here look into the formula here where the correlation coefficient is given that is this formula but here you need a little correction the formula is sx and sy even in the introduction it is given just make it correction if you have already print out the paper so let's take the formula in the book r that is 0 0.82 multiplied by sy that is 15 divide by sx that is 8 get them multiply you will get 0 0.12.3 divide by 8 and the final answer is 1.54 of b then find out a by putting y bar minus b x bar the y bar which is given in the question is 180 
minus b 1.54 and x bar that is 82 180 minus get them multiply you will get 126.28 and by subtracting you will get 53.72 at the end we'll keep regression line y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus b x a 53.72 b is 1.54 and the x which is given in the question is 60 centimeter so 53.72 plus get them multiply you will get 92.40 and the final answer is 146.12 moving to the next question question number 8 the following results are obtained to study the relation between the price of a battery cell of wristwatch in rupees and its supply in 100 units that is y n is 10 sigma x sigma y sigma x square and sigma x y is given obtain the regression line y on x and estimate the supply when price is 16 now by looking at this information you have to be decided that which formula will go and it should be not dependent on every time on the formula page so out of this information which the formula will go is this that is x y is given x and y separately is given so this formula will go out of the information given in the question so first let's keep into the let's keep all the value into the formula and just go with the calculation so n is 10 x y is 3 4 6 7 minus x is 130 y 220 again n is 10 and sigma x square that is 2288 minus sigma x is 130 whole square now let's go with the calculation here after keeping the all value here i found b is 1.02 now to find out a here we need x bar sorry y bar and x bar which was not given in the question but the sigma x and sigma y and n was available so out of this first find out the x bar and y bar that is 13 and 22 keep into the formula to find out a and here i found 8.74 at the end for the regression line y on x the value has been kept into the formula the 16 which is given in the question here we get 25.06 next question question number nine the information regarding the maximum temperature x and sale of ice cream y of six different days in summer for a city is given below the maximum temperature and sale of ice cream which will be denoted as a y here x by y bar sigma xy and sx square is given now obtain the regression line sale of ice cream on maximum temperature estimate the sale of ice cream if the maximum temperature on a day is 42 celsius so here i took all the information and out of this information first we'll decide that which formula will go here you can see this is the multiplication sign in between so this will be the formula which will be used to find out as we have the value of x sigma x y x bar y bar n and sigma x x square so let's keep the formula to find out b that is sigma x y minus n x bar y bar upon n into s x square so sigma x y that is 306 minus n that is is six different days that is n will be six just write down here x bar that is 40 y bar 1.2 upon n 6 multiplied by sx square that is 20 306 minus just get them multiply you will get 288 and here 6 into 20 120 get them subtract that is 18 divided by 120 and the final answer will be 0 0.15 of b then we'll find out a y bar minus b x bar the y bar is 1.2 minus b just now we found 0 0.15 x bar which is given in the question is 40 1.2 minus 6 
and the answer will be minus as the value of 6 is more compared to 1.2 that is minus 4.8 then the regression line y on x y cap is equal to a plus b x a minus 4.8 plus b that is 0 0.15 and the x which is given in the question is 42. Here you can see. So minus 4.8 plus get them multiply you will get 6.3. Your plus minus will turn into minus. But the value of plus will remain because 6.3 is more than 4.8. So answer plus nahi rahega, But we have to get them subtract 1.5. So here we end up with the exercise 3.2. We'll move to the next with the exercise 3.